Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last part, in the last video, I had covered a complete roadmap for backend development. And many of you were demanding that, okay, this roadmap is fine, it is totally good. But which all projects should a beginner make when he's learning backend development? So I'm back with a video where we are going to discuss the projects for backend development, not only for beginners, but for intermediates and for the advanced level, right? So watch this video completely till the end and then you are going to get a lot of project ideas a lot of projects that you can make as a backend developer when you're starting right but before that if you guys want to learn flutter app development from me in hindi simple hindi language then don't miss out this course that i'm out with you can enroll into this course the course has already started i've posted some recorded content and some assignments and which i personally check and give you the feedback so don't miss this course right the link is in the description and you get a personalized discord server also with me where you can ask doubt at any time of the day right so don't miss out this course right now let's uh, get started with the projects for backend development right so as you know that as i just told that we are going to divide this video into three parts first is beginner then intermediate and then advanced right which all advanced projects that you can make now which all let's start with beginner right let's assume that you are beginner you don't know anything you're just starting out with backend development now as per my roadmap video as i talked in my roadmap video that you have to start with uh, basic uh, computer networks protocols right you have to learn um, http rest frameworks get post right so i mentioned one thing right that you have to learn http which comes with get post put patch delete right so these are the simple uh, you, you you can say that types of APIs that a person should know as a backend developer. Now to master this, this is a simple starting phase, right? So starting phase of backend development, you have to know HTTP uh, protocols, then get post, delete, put patch, API calls, right? To master this thing, to master this complete HTTP, the first project idea that you have to make, many people will say that the time is gone when this project was made. But I think that in today's, in today's era also, in 2023 also, this project should be your first project and that project is to do project to do app right many people have seen that they say that it's not time to create to do app you should you, if you are a beginner also you don't need to create to do app directly create some good and advanced projects according to me it's not like the case right to do app actually clears your mind it actually tells you what is crud that is create retrieve update delete what is get api call what does the get api call do what is the difference between get and post? What is the different bit what, what is the difference between put and patch? What is delete? What is what are crud? This is a very important term that is cleared by making this project to do app. Crud, create, retrieve, update, and delete. And you actually get to learn how to connect your database with your server. Right? With your server. So this app is going to be very, very important if you're a beginner. And this should be your first project. Whether you are watching this video in 2023 or 2026, this project should be your first project, right? Let's move on to the second project. Now, it this project is also uh, will be related to CRUD and REST uh, APIs and with your database. But this is going to be a little more uh, advanced, right? It is blog app. So in blog app also, what you are going to create, you will be entering the title of the blog you will be entering the description of the blog or you can say you are going to write the blog right and you can actually add an image over here so you already learned this in to do app that how to enter your data how to put this data in your database right this you have already learned there but one more thing that you are going to learn in this project is how to upload an image to a cdn you can say or you can say a storage uh, a storage service let's say it can be firebase storage or it can be amazon s3 bucket or it can be cloudflare right and you are going to learn this in this particular uh, video or in this particular project that is blog app because in the to do app we were just entering the text data right but now we are going to learn how to enter a how to add a image data 
right so this should be your second project as a back end developer third project if i talk about third project can be a url shortener right it can be a url shortener you can take example of tiny url it's a big company which actually does this url shortening work right so what does this url shortener how does this work or how can you make it either what you can do is you can create or you can use a third party service like tiny url so you are going to create a server right which is going to take the link from the client right client client is going to provide you the link the long link your server is going to communicate with tiny url and tiny url is going to return a tiny url a short url and you are going to return the short url to your client this can be the first uh, part that you can create the second way is that your server is only using some mathematics or logical part or some keying uh, keying i don't know how to pronounce it some uh, hashing or some keying uh, a technique to shorten this link right your client is giving you a long link you are going to do some logical part in your server itself not using any tiny url not using any third party service and you are going to return a, uh, a short url to your client right so this these are the two ways that you can uh, perform in this project which should be a third project in this third project your main motive should be to uh, understand a third party service and to do some logical processing in your server right i think it makes sense so this should be your third part now fourth project should be to increase the usage of third party services right and you can use it you can do it using weather api so weather api is a good api to create a back end project that is going to return the weather of a city or of a location or of a part of the earth to a client so your client your website or your web app is going to ask your server so this is your server okay i was making a database so this is going to be your server right your server is going to make a request to weather api and your client is going to give you the coordinates or you can take location city name wagera right from your client and this location can be sent to this weather api this weather api is going to return you with some weather data humidity temperature data and you need to return this in the json format to your client right so using this project by making this project you can actually increase your uh, skills of working with third party services right i hope this makes sense so this should be a fourth project and over here till this part by making these four projects we have covered beginner level so if you have made these four projects i guarantee you i guarantee you that you are you have already crossed the stage of being a beginner in backend development right so congratulations you have earned a batch of a uh, beginner in backend development right now it's part to discuss the intermediate projects right so first projects first project will be an e-commerce right an e-commerce app so in this app you are going to create schemas for um, schemas for i can say products schema for your users schema for your cart schema for your order that is coming in right schema can be for your payment service or your payment successful transactions i can say transactions right and delivery boys so delivery boys are going to get some product in the hand and you need to update the data that uh, we have delivered or we have given this product to this delivery boy who is going to this particular house right so these are the particular schema so over here you are going to use extensively you can say mysql database or mongodb database or you can even use firebase database and obviously you can use postgres also right so using this your database skills are going to improve a lot right by making this e-commerce application or if you want to take this e-commerce application to a next level obviously in the payments you can add stripe you can add razor pay right you can add these both apis third party apis and your project will be of next level right so this is the first project that you can make in your uh, intermediate stage second will be social media people do get excited about this social media app uh, they think that they can create instagram but uh, let me be honest instagram facebook whatsapp they are not just uh, crud applications right they have a lot of underlying microservices ai ml algorithms uh, running behind them 
right so don't expect that you will be creating an instagram but it's good that you want to clone an instagram right so in social media application your work will be to upload images videos right or again schemas you can create for user then how you how you are going to handle follow feature right how you are going to handle uh, like comment feature right so again it's just working with database putting and storing your data in the database but in this project you are going to work a lot with images and videos which should be stored in a good uh, storage service again it can be a s3 bucket it can be cloudflare it can be firebase storage right so this should be your next intermediate project and try to complete it try to put it on your github as a public repository and also make it public in github right and also put it on linkedin i wanted to say so also put this app this intermediate app in linkedin that you have created this project right so this was the second intermediate project talking about the third project it is a job board application so this application i built when i was in my third year and i was learning backend right so in the job board what you have to create you have to create a simple board where two types of login so over here i want to teach you that uh, in this project in uh, social media not in social media but in e-commerce and in this job board you have to create multiple users multiple users means multiple roles right so one type of user can be normal job seeker and one type of user can be an employer who is trying to post a job right so these are the two types of uh, two types of users that you have to manage in this project right so you have to create two types of logins login as a employer login as a job seeker right and uh, an employer can actually post a job and job seeker can actually apply for a job right so you can actually take an example of hashjobs.com i guess i may uh, i may not know this thing the last.com or dot in but yeah hashjobs is a company which is a very simple job board uh, web application you can just go and check it out and you can try to clone it right so job board should be your next uh, intermediate project i can say now next thing next project fourth project which comes in the category of learning web sockets the best projects to learn web sockets is by creating a chat app right so two clients will be there right two clients will be there they both have got a message box where they can enter a message and they can click on the send button right so socket uh, connection should be made in between them and as soon as a person a is going to type something and send it to it the event should be fired in the in chat b client uh, user interface and uh, an update should be here and a message should be received right so this is a simple uh, chat app that you can make as your intermediate project and it should be should be should be using web sockets right not using just database it will be very slow and it cannot be uh, given to the public right sockets uh, sockets actually make the chat application faster right now talking about the advanced so advanced projects so i'm just going to give you two project ideas in this <clears throat> right only two project ideas so if you have made those two project ideas i guess that you are an advanced backend developer <clears throat> first is music streaming and second can be your video sharing first is music streaming second is video sharing and if you want one more it can be finding nearby people nearby or it is also called as proximity service proximity service so this project is actually very close to my heart this is a very good project it actually uh, helps you in learning google maps and how uh, geo hashing is done right how locations how different sectors on the earth are actually divided and how they are mapped to a google map right so this is a very good project so what a proximity service means that have you uh, heard about happen app so happen is an app or i can it it, it is also feature in telegram it's also feature in facebook right or obviously in uh, dating apps uh, in bumble and in tinder it's also feature so what this proximity service means that it is going to tell you the people on the same application around you so you can actually tell that okay 
विच आर ऑल द पीपल अराउंड मी विद इन टेन किलोमीटर्स राइट सो टेलीग्राम एक्चुअली गिव्स यू द पीपल हु आर यूजिंग टेलीग्राम विद इन टेन किलोमीटर्स एंड एक्चुअली लाइव हैपन ऑल्सो गिव हैपन ऑल्सो वर्क ऑन दिस प्रिंसिपल बम्बल एंड टिंडर ऑल्सो यूज द प्रॉक्सिमिटी सर्विस टू फाइंड द टू फाइंड अ प्रोबेबल पार्टनर फॉर यू विद इन अ सर्टन रेडियस राइट सो दिस इज अ गुड बैक एंड प्रोजेक्ट राइट यू कैन यूज इट वीडियो शेयरिंग ऑब्वियसली यू शुड नो हाउ टू डिवाइड योर वीडियो इन टू चंक्स बिकॉज अ कंप्लीट वीडियो इज अ वेरी बिग फाइल इट कैन बी इन जी बीज राइट यू कैन जस्ट डायरेक्टली पास ऑन दिस फाइल टू अन अदर क्लाइंट डिवाइस राइट यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस इन टू चंक्स राइट एंड दिस पार्ट विल बी सेंड देन दिस पार्ट विल बी सेंड देन दिस पार्ट विल बी सेंड राइट सो दिस इज अ वीडियो शेयरिंग सेम सेम इज अ प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड म्यूजिक स्ट्रीमिंग राइट सो आई होप दैट यू लाइक दिस वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल द थ्री स्टेजेस बिगनर इंटरमीडिएट एंड एडवांस लेवल राइट आई होप दैट यू लाइक दीज प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ट्राई टू क्लोन दैम ट्राई टू मेक दैम एंड ऑब्वियसली डोंट फर्गेट टू एन रोल इन टू माई फ्लटर हिंदी कोर्स राइट अदरवाइज यू विल मिस द लाइव सेशन राइट सो टिल एंड कंटेंट एंड ऑल्सो लेट मी नो विच ऑल टॉपिक्स यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न आई एम थिंकिंग टू स्टार्ट अ शॉर्ट टेक टॉपिक्स सीरीज वेयर आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इन शॉर्ट टाइम uh within 5 minutes that what are microservices what is devops what is uh, jenkins what is ansible what is docker what is kubernetes what is system design what is a what is a uh, what is cloud computing what is quantum computing right uh, so i am thinking to make a video a complete series on this let me know let me know your thoughts or any other tech topic you want to learn put it in the comment section till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot